Hey guys, I'm Scott with Cool Toys, and today we've got a great show. I hope you'll hang around, and I hope you've been watching the show. If you have been and you like it, please subscribe, go to cooltoys.tv, pick up some swag, show off your cool toys. Now, if you got something you think's a cool toy, send it to us, and we might put it on the show. Today, three cool things we're going to do, or talk about, or whatever. I don't know what you want to word it, but three things. We're going to talk about surfing. I got caught surfing a wave uh, recently. Pretty cool picture. Take a look at that. And uh, had a lot of fun. Now, for those of you that watch the show, you know that I've got a pretty big quiver. 13 boards. One of them, well, we'll talk about that in a little bit. We're also going to talk about fire and burning things. That's always a lot of fun and always cool toys have to show up in that, right? And finally, coffee. Now, a lot of you know that I don't drink regular coffee. I drink cold brew after years of drinking Diet Coke. And finding good cold brew on the road when I travel is really difficult. So Starbucks makes these little bottles, but they're hard to find. And I'm, oh geez, I'm so sorry Starbucks, but the cups of coffee that you sell cold brew in the store, are I just can't drink them. They're terrible. And I don't want to put all the calories in, so I make my own. Now on the road, again, really tough to do, but somebody found this. Little Stanley thermos. Looks like a regular thermos, right? But there's a secret. Pop it open, French press. So two packs of coffee from the hotel, either those crazy little cups or um, just the regular coffee packs. Stuff it in there, put in some cold water, let it soak overnight, get up in the morning, Mash the grounds to the bottom if you had to take the grounds out of the package for whatever reason. Um, and boom, cold brew coffee ready to go. So my wife thought it was completely ridiculous that I needed to take a French press on the road. So for that reason alone, it gets Cool Toys approved, but I'm going to give it the Cool Toys approved double star because I like it too. And that does make it a cool toy. So. A lot of cool stuff. We can sit here and talk about it in the studio, or we can just head downstairs. So let's go down to the quiver. All right, guys, before I go into the shop and play with the next toy, work on the Jeep, I want to show you something and talk about surfboards. This is the fig, the first fig that I bought after returning to Southern California and retiring from flying jets in the Air Force Reserves. Sadly, Rick is no longer with us, the man we used to call the Rockin' Fig. Um, his son Ricky's running the shop, but this board in memoriam, we're going to turn it into a shower, make it permanent behind us. We'll see that on a future episode. Uh, you've seen this in the Versa Traction episode. We've had Versa Traction on it the whole time, but we have liked the uh, Hex Attraction and now Hawaii's Wax Mat that we found from Dave over there at uh, Surfco. Great stuff. We're going to put that on a new board. But you know the rule of the quiver. There's never too many surfboards. There's always room for just one more. So we're going to pull this one out, make room for it, and get to it. All right, that's enough surf for right now. We'll get to it after. But let's go play with toys in the Jeep and talk about fire. One of the cool things about going to the beach here in Southern California and surfing is, well, I take the Jeep. But the other part is we get to bonfire, picnic, and have a good time out at the beach. So, little fire safety. We usually have one of these four pound first alert fire extinguishers in the Jeep, but there's a problem. The new JLUs have this square roll bar. It doesn't quite fit. You can't just put the round clamp on and round clamp on and have it good on the roll bar like we used to. So thanks to the folks at Element, this little teeny thing has all the firefighting power of that big four pound extinguisher. That's it. The whole thing. Pull the cap, twist, and go, just like flares in the military. Comes with a little clip. Two screws, you can mount it pretty much anywhere, like I've got it right here. I put a second clip just to make sure it was stable for all the four-wheeling because it does go up and down, and I didn't want it popping off. But great little fire extinguisher. This one, the element, is going to go in the back of the little sports car we got. And uh, with that in mind, we're fire safe, ready to go to the beach and picnic. So now it's time to go surfboard shopping. Mike, 
Mike Erspalmer, how you doing, brother? So here we've got Mike Erspalmer, the shaper for ERS Surfboards, the owner. And uh, Mike, good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Welcome to Loja. Thanks, man. So this fish, this board, and I don't want to call it a fish because it's kind of long, but it is a swallowtail. And the guys I've watched ride it are riding better than they should be. So I'm losing waves to guys, and I want to compete. I want one of these, I think. Um, so let's talk about it a little bit first, because it's, you know, I don't know squat about boards. I have 13 boards under the rule of just one more is enough. So of course we're gonna go just one more and talk about the board. Swallowtail, that's the first thing that I noticed that's different for the length, why the swallowtail? Well, most of the guys I've been making this board for have, are coming down in size. They're on 10 foot boards, nine, six, uh, but they want to pack a lot of flotation into a smaller board so they can still catch waves and battle with everybody out in the water. A little, a little extra ease for catching a wave too cool. because the tail catches the wave. Oh, cool. Okay. So that's something I didn't know. The tail catches the wave, not the nose. Not the nose. Excellent. All right. So now this one is on the bottom. I think you said that's a quad. Yeah, this is a quad. I noticed that my other fishes are twin fins and this one's a quad. Why? What's the difference between a twin and a quad? Well, you could run a twin, you could run a quad, and pretty much any of them. Uh, these guys have been wanting the quads. Uh, traditionally, a twin fin fish with, with the swallowtail uh, was a board made for uh, a much shorter, much shorter project. So basically like a five nine, 510 guys were coming off their other boards, but they were wider. So we pack a lot of flotation in that smaller board. Okay. Uh, they were kind of mush killers. The twin fin really reacts well for slow waves, uh, but then you can ride them in some good stuff too if you've got the talent. The quad fin kind of helps work a little better in higher in the face. It hangs in there higher and tighter. Um, and it, they're very fast, so it just gives an extra amount of motor to the board. So instead of a four-cylinder, now you've got an eight-cylinder, you know? Uh, that, that sounds like something I can use. <laughs> um, Everyone could use a little bit more, right? Yeah, yeah, more power, always more power. Also with this board, we're looking at some of these here are, um, I, I call them resin, but I think you call it polyurethane, and then some are epoxy. Well, you have... It isn't epoxy a resin, right? Yeah, epoxy's a resin, uh, another form of resin. You have a poly, polyester resin, okay. but the blanks are a polyurethane. So the foam inside... Foam is different. is different. So the foam we're using on the epoxies is an EPS foam, uh, which is kind of like uh, your cups that you'd get at a store for a drink, a cold cup. You know, the styrofoam beads uh, is kind of what it is. So it's lighter. It's lighter. And you actually get about three to five percent more buoyancy out of an epoxy, excuse me, EPS mm -hmm. versus the polyurethane. Okay. So the foam inside foam is different. Is different. Okay. And this foam in the epoxy is EPS. Okay. And the benefit of the EPS? Lighter, more buoyant. Cool. A lot okay. of fun. Um, excellent. So this board, I think, we want to do epoxy, uh, quad, A24, something in there. Yeah, you know, we've been making these uh, kind of big float, kind of chunky. I can make them thinner as well. Uh, but a lot of the guys have just been reacting with the volume because they want to have the paddle ability to catch waves quicker and out paddle some of the guys out there. It is crowded. It yeah. is a little fun, but um, and it's just giving them the opportunity to have a board that's actually going to be lighter as well and do some of the maneuvers that they might not have been able to pull off on their other boards. So there is a secret that this board is going to make me a better surfer. There we well, go. Well, that's the idea. All yeah. right. So this is the Nissan GTR of surfboards. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, awesome. you know, and with that in the bottom, you have a little bit of, of a double barrel where there's a little bit of Concrete. movement in the yeah. bottom. I run the edge somewhat hard all the way through, so it really planes high on the water. Okay. Uh, so it gives you quite a bit of height, quite a bit of speed, and a lot of fun. A lot of fun, a lot of guys liking them. These are kind of the, the gentleman's quad fish because they're eight six. Most yeah. of the young guys are not riding anything like this, yeah. you know? Yeah, all right. Let's do it, let's two, make a board. Two more inches helps the fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he did call me a fat guy. I had to throw right. it in there. Well, there it is. All right, so 
that's it for Cool Toys today. Come back next time, and hopefully in a few episodes, we will walk out of this shop with a brand new Earth Palmer quad fin swallowtail semi longboard. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Thank you. See you, Mike.